Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our good old legendary playthrough with Grandmaster difficulty. Day 784. You mentioned now these guys are fighting two years against the Bloom Spawn, two and a half. That is a full fledged war. I like the realism in that sense. Uh, they are at it for a long, long time. Anyways, today we have the third mission, which is cool. We can do three missions in a row. Uh, seek and destroy the bloom spawn, and we could use that without willpower. Uh, we can, or we could just not do it without willpower, because I want to have fun playing the game, and wouldn't want to just go through and chop chop. Anyways, we take the same stratagems. This team is OP, uh, and we already nerfed it by not having a librarian. Um, teleport us in. In uh, terms of just overall experience, I think Rovi here needs to kill a couple more, but other than that, I think we're okay. Uh, 1100. Okay. So, less kills on the Paladin, more kills on everyone else. Here we go. Planet classification Forge World. However, all archival data has been excised. Scans suggest a mass orbital bombardment has occurred. Even in the broken husk of Exterminatus, our enemy has a cruel wit indeed. We must return his jest with fire and vengeance. And that we will. Hector, and that we will. Cool. One boom spawn all the way over there. On Bloom spawn all the way over there. And just for shits and giggles, I think we're taking the left route. Paladin charges forward. Everybody else follows. Moving now. None may hide from our warp sight. I sense their presence. Eager for gifts. All right, Mirabel protects once again. I tend to disagree. Okay, they definitely don't want us to get anywhere close to them. Fabulous. Moving up. And we got 14 and 10. Wow, these guys are difficult to stun. Uh, should have, by the way, put in the litany of hate before we're teleporting. Uh, that was a small mistake. Moving in, and we got a nice little grenade right there. Ooh. All right, uh, by the way, extractor. Yep, thank you. Give me that seat. I pull the seed from this rot. Burge! 
And we're continuing to stun. And we're continuing to stun. Ah, that's why they are so difficult to stun, because we have the guy with uh, the passive extra stun. Here we go, this guy we may have called, uh, killed him beforehand. He had... Uh, all allies have plus four stun HP, I see, okay. Well, things are not looking too good for you. Because now we're moving in and uh, we're doing this into how much more stun do you have left over five? Uh, plus five stun, that should stun both of them. Fair enough. What is your will? What is your will? Go disrupt you because I don't want to take any overwatch. Your voice, brother. <clears throat> I execution. I am the Emperor's fury. We are executing this guy next turn. And uh, well not next turn or do executing oh, this turn with the next action that we do have. And the problem is I don't want every single My one to be uh, plagued. It's bad enough if we have that one person that alone on more than one. Carbonated. Unleash me. The Emperor lights our path. You will heal. Your command. Your yes, yes. These guys, of course, we will uh, we will need to de uh, actually kill first. Uh, we, we have used quite a bit of resources unnecessarily so so to the unworthy my blade is ever ready Good, the chaplain carefully moves up. Trigger. It does, unfortunately. Mm. All right. I think we're still teleporting in, although it will cost us quite a few AP. Punch the beasts. Good. 
Good. Time to use Word of the Emperor. Everybody here is a little bit more stunned than they were before. I have claimed this wretched bloom essence. Librarian. Psychic shrieks and warp charge. Fabulous. The enemy is wounded. And this is just crazy how good the stunning thing is. Cybold here. Look at that. He's stunned. Stunned. <laughs> Execute. Everybody's just getting these massive amounts of, um, of actions back. Look at that. Cybold. Cybold alone gets this guy down four stun. We have a normal sh uh, shot. The person that really needs to deal damage is you. Nine points of base damage against demons. Going through 45 hit points as if it would be nothing. Push. I am oh. the Emperor's fury. It will be done. Good. More seeds. Unbelievable. Seven AP. Wow. 
pushed me back like it is no one's no man's business. I don't like that. Unleash me. One. Two. <laughs> And we're just executing him. That is three strikes for that demon. I'm here to serve. I am with you. Denounce! Blessed are our arms. And thanks to the super high amount of. AP that everybody is having. We can then easily clean up the rest. Mind you, I could have even pushed this guy here. Right into the crater. It's a strong team. Chaplin needs to get more kills going forward. Praise the Emperor. There we go. That's our blue seeds. That's important. I pulled a seed from this rot. There is more seeds here. Couple of holy hand grenades. In. Kill this guy. Yes, Unleash me. At your service. As you command. Downed. Demon 
shall avoid its fate. Ridiculously strong. Less of ammunition depleted. Seats. Yes, Commander. Your orders? Preparing uh, this guy. And I'm just trying to feed him. A couple of kills to our chaplain here. It doesn't even need to be an execute kill. And to a degree, the purifier serves the purpose of DPS that is not correlated with the other uh, with the other stuff. Because, I mean, look at that, right? So, even on a higher range, we're dealing 8 points of damage. Just normal damage. I haven't even, I haven't even used any crit. I must rearm. Draw your forces. Our initiates contend to the leftover filth. In bloodshed we save. Unbelievable. The whole stunning thing is just crazy. It makes it very, very, very easy to clean out specifically kind of that those typical late game. Multiple space, uh, chaos space marine teams. Okay, so what do we have here? Targets an area, damage. Oh, nice. Fifty percent chance to kill uh, to attack their allies. Five damage staff. Uh, Knight's Eagle Shield has two additional armor. I'm wondering, hmm, if you do have someone like the librarian who automatically gets Aegis. Then this can be a relatively good staff, but it is not phenomenally great. Now I think none of that is so convincing that I would need to invest requisition into it. Good. Paladin. can now shift 
the willpower to others. Only in death is not a bad ability. Uh, to be fair, it is actually quite, quite uh, decent ability. I think we'll take that and then willpower, and that's totally fine. What do we have here? Another hit point. No, I think we're okay on hit points. So on the other hand, we do have the armor where you can convert hit points into will points. So that isn't bad either. This here makes Abra's uh, will free of uh, AP cost. I think we're just sticking with that. It's a good idea. Chaplain. Uh, what could we what could we take Emperor's will in case we want to transfer willpower but willpower is not really that much of an issue here we can only have one litany running at the time at, at, a, at any time anyways Might as well go to here so that we do have the option to shift over uh, mm, ability points. The focus one does not seem to be bad either. But do we have a lot of autos? We do have mental focus. This here isn't bad, the ruthless precision, because that gives you an auto ability. So maybe we're just going for ruthless precision and then we do have the same for range. And we might take up focus. That's an option. The other one is just getting permanent, permanent uh, armor. All right. Uh, looks like a decent, uh, a decent spread of experience, and looks like a fantastic team, to be fair. And whilst we are at it, might as well set course for the next uh, demon prince the green spawn the foul infestation of i think disease and let's get this guy down it is here agar the benevolent reaper of the poxa strain affirmative has your infernal research unearthed anything of value we might use? Only that it is a great unclean one, and that its history of defilement is long. Its followers dubbed it the Benign Custodian, and the Bountiful Uncle, and it hosts... Data value. Questionable. I hadn't finished. The beast is said to govern some sort of host. A million and one beloved nephews? I'm not quite certain what to make of it. Blast it. Of all the repugnant spawn of chaos, reciprocal disgust. Did did I miss something? Warning: risk of shipwide infestation imminent. Enacting Gamma Contingency 1217. The edict's pipeways must be warded. Ektar. Emergency: current servitor stocks inadequate. Sending immediate support request on all Adeptus Mechanicus frequencies. What in the blazes is going on? Of all the hosts of chaos, only one has ever vexed this ship in her long and storied history. A great unclean one. I've never known you to balk at a... Not that. The imps. The damned mites. Nerglings? None other. Initiating protocol immediately. <laughs> You aren't serious. 
Mark my words, Inquisitor. Not one of those pox-ridden vermin will find its way on board the Edict. If I have to purge every last corridor of this ship in cleansing flame, I will never again. Alright, Hector does not like him. Yeah, I have no idea how how that guy how that guy works. Point being, uh, I would be careful just to go in with our current force. That could backfire quite a bit. We don't have the seeds to research the others. Good. Whom are we going to send? None other than our prime team. Let me do that. Alright, this is our team that we're going to use in order to kill them, the prime team. Strength of the Spirit is going to be there. Purification is definitely going to be there. Uh, High Sanctuary is a fine option as well. And I think we're just going to refill will points the other option is just plain ap which sometimes might be helpful very likely stun is not a thing good crit armor uh, resistance and uh, willpower we got a very similar uh, setup uh, as the last time. The only difference to the last boss is I will give Linus here I upgraded Life Giver, which now is a melee weapon that uh, heals more in case we have a need to heal. A base heal is fantastic. And the Biomancies for one turn, that is strong. I was hoping we would find a weapon at some point with Biomancies plus two turns. That is wishful thinking at uh, this point. Uh, the other option could be um, against um, against organic targets to have that huge crit, but I don't even think that he is organic. So we're sticking with our guns. The biomancies are important. I also changed the healing skulls um, out for more willpower. That way we just can go deeper into uh, permanent buffing without running out of willpower and we could refresh 15 instead of yeah 9 or 10 willpower got 22 willpower uh, 21 willpower on our librarian which is great uh, enders i went with uh, the option to uh, just uh, to just weaken the enemy with a seeker school and then passive crit damage and crit increase which i think is uh, the right call we got more than enough willpower on him so we should be uh, very much fine here and we got a quasi unlimited willpower on Jim with the plate only thing that I couldn't do uh, so far which I really uh, feel a bit uh, regretful about is that recanter which we just can't upgrade uh, I'm missing the red seats which sort of sucks I wish you could transfer some of the seats but yeah Blue and red, always the problem in this campaign. All right, cool. That's it. We're going to go do that in the next uh, mission. For now, thanks a lot for watching. Truly appreciate it. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.